After 30 days of play, so Mark hopes right the demolition here, will column, look something like this. The, three, four. the tower is poised at the end of the runway, a five meter drop on the north side. This is the precipice that Mark wants it to fall over. The bulk of the tower's weight already lies on the north end, so its natural inclination is to fall in this direction. Mark uses this to his advantage. To start the fall, he notches the tower like a tree by detonating shaped charges on the north end of the bottom three floors. The charges slice through the steel. Mark strategically places dynamite to kick out the steel support columns and beams. The tower collapses towards the notch. The structure is massive. It's really heavy. If it moves, it stops, and it sits down vertically, we have a problem. It's got to move quickly, and it's got to keep moving. To keep the tower moving, Mark will detonate a second series of shape charges, shearing off the seventh level. The top of the tower is now free to rotate over, giving the tower the momentum to continue falling to the north, over the edge of the runway, and away from the Batcave. 